All right, Fran, so this is another website. This is National Geographic Kids. All you're doing is reading these websites and taking down some information. So you're taking down some notes about some things that you can tell us about the Wright Brothers for your nonfiction writing piece. So everything that you tell us should be in your own words and everything that you should that you tell us should be factual, meaning that it is true. So here we are again. We have a photograph. This is Wilbur Wright on the left with his brother Orville Wright. So if Wilbur's on the left, or Orville's on the right. The photograph was by Corbus. They got it from Corbus, Corbus via Getty Images. Taking flight with the Wright brothers, find out how these inspiring aviators took to the skies. So aviators are people who fly. So they are, and they're inspirational because they inspired other people to do great things. It's a chilly, breezy day in December 1903. Wilbur Wright stands on the beach in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, staring at the sky above him, soaring overhead in an airplane as his brother Orville. He's in the middle of the world's first successful piloted engine-powered airplane flight. Today, the Wright brothers are remembered as innovative engineers, and their history-making flight inspired generations of future flyers. Growing up right. Now, that is a pun. They use that because, so growing up right, like growing up the right way, but their last name is Wright. Left. Orville Wright made the world's first successful piloted engine-powered airplane flight. On the right is Wilbur Wright. Um, he wrote a letter to the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C., requesting information about aeronautics to help him and Orville with their aircraft design. The photograph was by Archive Pics and the New York Times. The Wright brothers were interested in flying from a young age. As children in Dayton, Ohio, their favorite toy was a small helicopter-like object that was powered by a rubber band to twist its blades. Fascinated by the toy and its mechanics, the brothers hoped to one day build a flying machine big enough to hold them both. As young men, so this is curiosity, they were very curious about it, and their curiosity led them to do great things. As young men, the brothers went into business together, first operating a printing press, which is for newspapers, and then a bicycle repair shop. Eventually, the duo began selling their own custom-made bicycles to customers. Custom-made means that they made the design themselves. Here is another photograph. Before experimenting with airplanes, the Wright brothers ran a bicycle shop in Dayton, Ohio. So this is an image of the top of it. But the brothers never lost their love of flying. At the time, other aircrafts such as gliders or aircrafts without engines didn't exist, but the Wrights wanted to add more power to the objects they were flying. In 1899, the brothers began experimenting with building their own aircrafts. Up, up, and away. In 1900, the brothers traveled from Ohio to Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, to begin their flight experiments. The Oceanside Dunes at Kitty Hawk had regular breezes and soft, sandy landing surfaces perfect for their studies. The brothers first conducted tests with kites before experimenting with gliders. Both Orville and Wilbur separately piloted the gliders during their test testing process. Here's another image or another picture. There's a caption underneath it. Wilbur Wright on the right and an unidentified friend assist Orville as he pilots a glider. In 1903, the brothers built an airplane called the Wright Flyer One, which featured wooden propellers the men had designed and carved themselves. The plane also had a gasoline engine. After weeks of, one moment, have a seat. Everybody sit down. No, no, everybody sit down. Thank you. After weeks of unsuccessful attempts, the craft with, with extra fabric 
Incorporated to increase the stiffness of the wings took flight for 12 seconds on December 17, 1903, traveling 120 feet before landing. The plane worked. Both brothers flew the craft a few more times that day. They had flown the world's first successful piloted engine powered airplane. Here's another photograph. This is Wilbur Wright, who is on the right. He observes as his brother Orville prepares to take off on his famous first flight. Wings of Change. After their success in North Carolina, the Wright brothers continued to travel around the world, perfecting their craft and modifying their designs. But they did so much more, kicking off the era of modern aviation and inspiring future adventurers. This is a bicycle built by the Wright brothers, right there. The decades following Kitty Hawk were filled with accomplishments in aviation, including the first solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean and the first passenger flight. And of course, flight didn't just, flight didn't just stay in this world. A little over 65 years after the Wright's famous first flight, astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walked on the moon. The Wright brothers didn't just fly the first piloted engine-powered airplane. They created a whole new way for us to explore our world. This is a um, video for how you can make a paper airplane. If you want to explore more, there are other things that you can explore at the bottom. All right, my friends, that is your second video. You are trying to find facts about the Wright brothers.